Hello, you're very welcome along to the Aerotherapy Business Podcast. My name is Jenny, and I'm going to be sharing lots of fantastic aerotherapy recipes and tips with you. And I'll also share some business strategies for aerotherapists and for holistic therapists. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about how essential oils can be used to upgrade your treatments. Here's what we're going to cover. First of all, what are the options for non-aromatherapists? So maybe you're not an aromatherapist and you want to be able to use these aromatherapy upgrades. Is it possible to do that? It absolutely is. And that's the first thing I'll tell you about. Then we look at what are treatment upgrades. Treatment upgrades are also called mini treatment or treatment enhancements. So what exactly are they and why would you want to include them in your treatments? Then we look at seven very easy ways that you can upgrade your treatments using essential oils and aromatherapy. And these include sugar scrub, tension tamer massage, sinusitis treatments, a facial rejuvenation treatment, subtle aromatherapy, using products as add-ons, and just using simple burners in your therapy room. For each of these treatments, I'll share recipes, contraindications, any products that you need. Where relevant, I'll share how to actually carry out the treatment and I'll give you some tips for how to charge for these upgrades. I'll be talking in terms of euro, but if you use dollars, a euro is roughly equivalent to a dollar. For each of the essential oil recipes, I use what is called a 2% blend. And that means that you would use two drops of essential oil in total for every teaspoon or five mil of natural vegetable oil. That's the amount that is recommended for anyone who is over 12 and who doesn't have sensitive skin. If you're using a recipe for someone who is under 12 or who has sensitive skin, you would use a different proportion. What about non-aromatherapists who want to use the treatment upgrades? You can make the products I describe in this episode minus the essential oils. And then you can use the essential oils in your treatment room in a burner or diffuser. When you're using essential oils in a burner or diffuser, just use three drops in total. And also bear in mind that any contraindications I mentioned to essential oils will apply whether you're using them directly on the skin or whether you're using them in a burner or diffuser because the effects of inhaling essential oils is extremely powerful. What is a treatment upgrade and why would you want to use this? A treatment upgrade, also called a mini treatment or treatment enhancement, is a short treatment that you use alongside an existing treatment to help the client to get more benefit from the treatment, more enjoyment, more relaxation, etc. Why would you want to add these aromatherapy upgrades to your treatments? Because it will allow you, first of all, to stand out from other therapists in your area and it will allow you to raise your rates without losing clients. And now let's look at each of these aromatherapy add-ons. So, sugar scrub. You can use a sugar scrub for the hands or the feet. You can use this before reflexology treatment. You can use it before a massage treatment or after massage treatment. It's very luxurious and the skin feels absolutely amazing. Sugar is really, really good for the skin when you use it on the outside. Unfortunately, not when inside. To make a sugar scrub, you would put four dessert spoons, which is roughly 10 teaspoons of caster sugar into a bowl. You can also use the ordinary granulated sugar if you like. The granulated sugar is a little bit harsher. It's probably better at exfoliating, but I personally prefer the caster sugar. You could try both and see which one you like yourself. Then you would add enough vegetable oil, such as extra virgin olive oil, to cover the liquid completely. So you have kind of a thick liquid. We don't want it solid. It's not like a cream. And an aromatherapy recipe I really like with sugar scrub is a mixture of grapefruit, lavender, and benzoin essential oils. And to this particular recipe, I would add four drops of each of those oils. So four drops of grapefruit essential oil, four drops of lavender essential oil, and four drops of benzoin essential oil. So as well as nourishing the skin, these oils are all really, really good for the skin. It's also very calming, very relaxing. So it's adding another dimension to your treatment. 
Don't use it for anyone who's pregnant. I think there will be a very low chance of it harming a pregnant woman. But with pregnancy, I always say err on the side of caution. So don't use it for pregnant. If you are making a sugar scrub for pregnant women, just leave out the lavender essential oil. Lavender is what we call an amenagog oil, which means that it can bring on a period. So there is an outside chance that it could cause a miscarriage. I've never heard of it happening. I think it's extremely unlikely. But as I say, it's always, always better when using essential oils to err on the side of caution. And also, don't use this blend on skin that will be exposed to a sunbed or bright sunlight within the next 48 hours. Grapefruit is what is called phototoxic, all the citrus oils are, so it can't possibly cause severe burns. And how would you use a sugar scrub in a treatment? You would need to have your sugar scrub some extra toweling to cover the area where you're going to work, as in under the hands or feet, and some warm, damp face cloths or hand towels, and some dry face cloths or hand towels. Probably face cloths are better because the hand towels might be a little bit big. So, first of all, cover the area where you're going to be working, as in under the hands or under the feet. Then take a small bit of sugar scrub and rub it between your hands. And then massage the hands or the feet for a couple of minutes. When you're finished, take one of your warm, damp towels or face cloths and use that to remove the sugar scrub. You may need to repeat this with a second warm, damp face cloth. Then you dry the feet with a dry face cloth and then you remove the extra toweling you had covering the area and you carry on with your treatment as normal. This treatment is so simple and it is absolutely beautiful. I did have a student not so long ago who started including sugar scrubs in her treatments. She was a reflexologist. She let her clients know she had this treatment available. She raised her rates by 10 euro with the option of this sugar scrub and she doubled her bookings. Now she wasn't doing it that long. She had five clients a week but she went from five clients to 10 clients charging 50 euro to charging 60 euro. Massive difference and so simple. 10 euro is a good price to charge for this and it is really worth it. But if you prefer, you could charge somewhere between 5 and 10 euro. The next add-on treatment is the Tension Tamer Back Massage. This is for massage therapists and you can use the blend of oils in your massage. What you need to have for the Tension Tamer oil would be 5 ml of castor oil, 5 ml of extra virgin olive oil and 10 ml of sweet almond oil. Don't use this for a client who has nut allergies. You could use grapeseed oil or sunflower seed oil instead of the sweet almond oil. The essential oils I like to use in this blend are 2 drops of lemon essential oil, 3 drops of sweet marjoram essential oil and 3 drops of lavender essential oil. So a lovely calming, relaxing, anti-inflammatory blend of essential oils. Don't use the blend for anyone who is pregnant and also don't use it on any area of the skin that will be exposed to a sunbed or bright sunlight within the next 48 hours. Lemon essential oil is what we call phototoxic and it can cause severe burns. If your massage is normally 50 euro, you could charge up to 60 euro for a tension tamer back massage and just stress that you're using this signature blend of anti-inflammatory and pain-killing natural oils. The next upgrade treatment is a sinusitis massage. But rather than go through that in this episode, I've actually made a PDF that includes a recipe to use in a sinusitis massage, there are vegetable oils and there are essential oils. And I also have a very short video where I walk you through how to actually do the sinusitis massage. And um, I'll put the link to that sinusitis PDF just below the episode and you can download it, watch the video and start offering the treatment to your clients. For the sinusitis treatment, I would charge somewhere between five and 10 euro extra per treatment. Mini facial rejuvenation treatment. This is an absolutely lovely treatment. What you need to have for that is a blend of natural vegetable oils and optional for aromatherapists. You can include 
essential oils as well. What you need to have is 5ml of avocado oil and 5ml of sweet almond oil. Those vegetable oils alone are fantastic for skin rejuvenation. They boost elastin and collagen. They're deeply moisturizing and they have a lot of other properties as well. And with that, I would use one drop of grapefruit essential oil, one drop of frankincense essential oil, and two drops of rose essential oil. Those oils are fantastic for rejuvenating skin, increasing elastin and collagen, moisturizing, reducing fine lines and wrinkles, they're fantastic. The essential oil blend is not suitable for anyone who's pregnant. And also, as I mentioned earlier, grapefruit essential oil is what is called phototoxic. So don't use it on any area of the skin that would be exposed to a sunbed or bright sunlight within the next 48 hours. And how would you use this lovely blend with or without essential oils? If you are already a massage therapist or an aromatherapist, you will have learned a basic facial routine. So you can use your oils in that routine. In my aromatherapy professional wellness course, I have a separate module called the aromatherapy facial, where I show you how to do a massage routine and also which oils to use for various skin conditions like acne, eczema, psoriasis, etc, etc. But for now, using those oils with a basic massage routine that you know already would make a fantastic upgrade to any treatment. You could either offer the treatment as a standalone treatment, maybe charge about 50 euro for roughly 50 minutes to an hour of a treatment. You could include a neck and shoulder massage as well, that would be lovely. If you're going to offer this as an optional add-on, you could charge between 10 and 15 euro for it, for an extra 10 or 15 minutes. So for instance, if your standard reflexology treatment is 60 euro and you're going to add a 15 minute mini facial as well, you could charge 70 euro for the combined treatment. The next mini treatment is using a reflexology aromatherapy balm. I am an aromatherapist and a reflexologist and I just love combining them. If you're a qualified aromatherapist and a qualified reflexologist, you can make all kinds of balms. You can make balms for muscle ache and pain, you can make balms for respiratory conditions, balms for stress, balms for insomnia, etc, etc. You have a huge range there. You could even make the balms and sell them as products to your clients. But if you haven't made a reflexology band before, I am not a reflexologist, I'm just going to give you a very simple recipe. And for the recipe, you need to have coconut oil, which by itself actually is very, very moisturizing. It is so good for the skin. And coconut oil is also antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. So it gives another layer of protection to you as the therapist. So I would use 10 ml of coconut oil and one drop each of lavender, grapefruit and a lang a lang. So this is just a lovely, general, relaxing aromatherapy blend. And to make the balm, what you do is you melt the coconut oil. So I don't melt coconut oil in a microwave or a cooker. What I do is I put it into a small glass container like a glass egg cup or a small bowl or whatever and put that into a larger bowl of warm water until the coconut oil eventually melts. Then add your essential oils, allow the coconut oil to solidify again and there you are, you have an absolutely beautiful reflexology balm. The essential oils in that blend you wouldn't use for someone who is pregnant or on skin that will be exposed to bright sunlight or a sunbed within the next 48 hours. Bergamo oil is what we call phototoxic, so it can cause severe burns, and lavender can possibly bring on a period. If your normal reflexology treatment is 60 euro, I would charge 65 for this treatment. And if you wanted to, you could also include a sugar scrub using the same blend of essential oils if you are using essential oils and charge maybe 70 euro in total for the treatment. The next treatment upgrade is subtle aromatherapy which is an absolutely fantastic upgrade 
for anyone who does Reiki, IET, bioenergy or any healing treatment. Rose essential oil has an affinity with the heart chakra, the base chakra and the crown chakra. Vetiver and benzoin also have an affinity with the base chakra, they're lovely and calming and grounding. Orange and neroli are often used for the sacral chakra. Chamomile has an affinity with the throat chakra, partly because of the lovely deep blue colour and the throat chakra is also seen as blue. Sandalwood and frankincense have an affinity with the crown chakra and the third eye chakra. Lavender has an affinity with all chakras. If you know about essential oils and have used lavender before, that won't surprise you. Lavender is an overall balancer. But when you're using essential oils as part of an energy treatment, your intuition is also really, really important. I could give you a list of all the oils that are good for all of the chakras, but at the end of the day, it's what feels right for you at the time. And as long as there's no contraindications to the oils, follow your intuition. So how are you going to use the oils as part of an energetic healing treatment? You may have heard, and if you've listened to any other of my podcast episodes, you certainly will have heard, that you don't use essential oils directly on the skin. This is a slight exception. The way that you would use the oils in an energy healing treatment is to touch the palm of your hand to the top of the open essential oil bottle. So what you're getting is a trace of essential oils on the palm of your hand. And then you can do your healing treatment as normal with the essential oils on your hand. Or, and or, you could include it in the grounding part of your treatment, or include it in the cleansing part of the treatment, or if you're doing some aura work at the end of the treatment, or chakra balancing at the end of the treatment, you can put the oils on your hand at that stage. So there really is no right and wrong way. As long as you don't use essential oils that are contraindicated for the client, follow your intuition, use whatever essential oils are speaking to you and use them in whatever way feels right for you. One thing you will notice is that when you start using the essential oils with energy work is that the aroma of the essential oils intensifies. You'll probably also notice, and the client will possibly also notice, that the healing energy feels more powerful. Essential oils work so well with energy. Essential oils are partly energetic. And the energy and the essential oils just enhance each other. It's an absolutely beautiful combination. I would suggest charging between 5 and 10 euros or dollars for the aromatherapy add-on to an energetic treatment. This treatment is suitable for aromatherapists and non-aromatherapists because you're not putting the oils directly onto the skin. So you're usually working in the aura above and around the client or you're working through the clothing. The next treatment upgrade is selling bespoke products to your clients. By bespoke I mean products that are specially made for that client after you've done a consultation. It's not selling products off the shelf. So examples of the products you might give a client as an upgrade are the blends that you would use in the treatments. The tension tamer blend, the sinusitis blend, the facial rejuvenation blend, the sugar scrub. And of course, if you're not an aromatherapist, you wouldn't include essential oils in any products that you might sell to your clients. Qualified aromatherapists can also sell aromatherapy inhalers to their clients. These are absolutely fantastic. They're great for things like sinusitis and they're great for headaches. They're also fantastic for clients who are suffering from severe anxiety and panic attacks. If you use the same blend in the inhaler as you used in your treatment, it will intensify the relaxation effect of the aroma and it will make a huge difference to clients in between treatments. I would charge between 5 and 20 euro for products for the client to take home. That would depend on how much you're giving, are you using essential oils, which essential oils you're using, etc. A lot of aromatherapists will say that, oh I feel weird charging, I already had the blend, it feels a bit mean. Bear in mind how much benefit the client is getting from it. 
how much time it took you to learn about essential oils so that you could make the blend how much your essential oils are costing you how much your products are costing you how much your bottles are costing you and also if a client had to go to a chemist to buy a product that would be inferior and that wouldn't be 100% natural that wouldn't have been made especially for our Ben that would cost them a lot more than the beautiful product that you have made for them so just a short pep talk for anyone who is thinking I really shouldn't charge for that you really should charge for it most people don't value free and don't value cheap whether that is treatments or products and if they haven't paid for something they don't get the same benefit as if they had paid for it and the last upgrade is maybe not exactly an upgrade it's using burners and diffusers in your therapy room if you have a beautiful relaxing fragrance in your reception area and then the same one in your therapy room or even just in your therapy room depending on your circumstances as soon as the client walks in they get that aroma and they immediately feel more relaxed and it enhances any treatment that you're doing if you're already doing an aromatherapy treatment, I wouldn't have a burner with separate oil in the room. But just doing a normal massage and you don't want to use essential oils as part of the treatment, having them in a burner is a fantastic option. I wouldn't charge for this. This is just something that gives them a lovely feeling, helps them to feel more relaxed, but it really enhances the client's experience. And just something else to be aware of, I know I've mentioned this already, but if an essential oil has any contraindications, that will apply whether you are using them in a burner or diffuser or whether you are putting them directly on the skin. So if, if an essential oil like lavender, it's contraindicated for pregnancy. So don't use it in a treatment and also don't use it in a burner. I've put the recipes for all of the treatments in the show notes below and also the link where you can pick up the sinusitis treatment. I hope you enjoyed all that and I hope you find it really useful and thanks a million for listening.